2018 Kia Stinger GT is a much needed refresher in the Korean automaker's lineup. Following quite a while of building shoddy and generally forgettable machines, Kia and Hyundai at last began to manufacture genuinely strong items that never again should have been promoted as only an incentive. Once the organization at long last got dependability, fabricate quality and styling down, it extremely expected to concentrate on execution in the event that it had any plans to be a completely adjusted automaker. Hyundai is doing especially a similar thing with autos like the new Veloster N. On paper, we ought to contrast the Stinger GT with autos like the Dodge Charger. Size, estimating and control are about the same, however that is not by any stretch of the imagination where we're at. Kia is speaking more about autos like the Audi A5, BMW 3 Series and other extravagance vehicles, and that is the means by which we're seeing it as well. It indicates exactly where Kia is pointing with this auto. The auto we have this week is the base GT, the most minimal spec show accessible with the 365 drive twin turbo V6. This is a similar motor that is accessible in the Genesis G80 Sport. While the GT1 trim doesn't get things like a moonroof or a 720 watt stereo framework, it's still really all around prepared. You get warm calfskin seats control front seats, a touchscreen infotainment framework with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, keyless passage and double zone atmosphere control. Execution overhauls incorporate Brembo brakes and 19-inch wheels with Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires, our auto was wearing all seasons because of old men winter. Relate editor Joel Stocksdale, ever since I went to the Stinger's introduction in Detroit a year ago, I've been anxious to drive one. On paper, it sounds striking too. It has forceful, strong styling all around, is just accessible in back or all-wheel drive, and has a couple of intense turbo motors, either a 255 strength 4 chamber or a 365 torque V6. At long last, this previous week, I had the opportunity to drive a back drive GT with the twin turbo V6, and it totally satisfied desires. One of the primary things that pleased me was the directing and taking care of. The rudder is brisk and precise, and the suspension feels light, open, and simple to oversee. This was especially useful since, despite the fact that I drove it on the one warm day in Detroit this winter, it was as yet wet and dangerous outside. The motor is a charmer, as well. It's not the best sounding thing on the planet, and there is a touch of looking out for the turbos, however it packs some genuine punch and makes on-ramps and expressway passing brief comment forward to. I barely have any protests with this thing. I profoundly wish Kia would offer a manual, even on the 4 barrel, and that is the enormous one, yet it wouldn't be a major issue. Following that, I would state the inside may be the weakest point since there are a considerable measure of plastics about. However, they're alluring and delicate touch. In the event that I get truly nit exacting, there are sports vehicles that may have focal points in any one territory, for example, motor or controlling, yet the Kia does everything to a great degree well, and it does as such at a value that setup contenders can't coordinate. Relate editor Reese counts, like Joel, I've been occupied with the Stinger GT for quite a while. We as a whole love execution autos, particularly when they offer a considerable measure for moderately minimal expenditure. The Stinger GT was putting forth Ray's wheel drive and a twin turbo V6 stuffed into an open, classy car for just shy of $40,000. I think everybody in the business observed. The driving position is incredible, however perceivability, particularly out the back, is bargained a bit on account of the styling. It doesn't move and feel like an auto this huge, not at all like something like the Dodge Charger or Ford Doris. The thin-rimmed directing wheel feels perfectly in your grasp. The input is great, however not awesome. It's snappy and weighted well, however at times I want to be getting more from the street. Perhaps the standard summer tires would help. The suspension is firm without being unforgiving, something I was worried about when I saw the 19-inch wheels. In the key of comfort mode, the Stinger GT feels a little languid off the line. Change things to brandish mode and it truly wakes up. 
power goes ahead smooth and low on account of two turbos and an abundant measure of torque. Joel didn't appear to be excessively hot on the fumes note, yet I think it sounds quite better than average for a V6. I like the 8 speed, as well. Movements are brisk when they should be in smooth most different circumstances. Ray's wheel drive may not be the best for winter, but rather it is the best time. It's not hard to get the tail out, but rather it never understands of control when you do. The inside is nice looking and all around outlined, however huge numbers of the materials feel shoddy. What of it? In an auto like this, I'm not expecting.